What's going on everybody, Gormy here. In today's video, we have got Jorge Jesus's 3421 with Benfica. This tactic I tried to recreate to the best of my ability, and it's absolutely absurd. They did very, very well in Liga Nas with it and in cup competitions. So we will be going over that in today's video. If you guys do happen to enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I will be linking the tactic in the Discord down below if you guys would like to download it. So once again, it will be linked in the Discord that is linked in the description. So make sure to go there if you want to download the tactic. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so here we are with Jorge Jesus' 3-4-2-1. They actually beat Barcelona 3-0 using this tactic. Not this exact tactic, but something like this. And we were able to do pretty, pretty well with this tactic. Uh, I believe we actually beat Real Madrid with this tactic. Um, so, first off, we've got a pressing forward up top on attack, which shoot more often put on. Both shadow strikers, all we added was shoot more often to them. Both wingers have cross aims at far post, tackle harder, mark tighter, and mark specific position. The left winger marks the opposing right winger, and the right winger marks the opposing left winger. So they essentially will drop back and it will become a back five. Uh, now we also have a central midfielder on defend with dribble S and tackle harder, and this central midfielder will drop back and it can sometimes become a back six. It's absolutely overpowered. The deep line playmaker on support has dribble S and tackle harder. And the all central defenders have tackle harder, including the central defender on cover. Then we have a sweeper keeper on support left as is. We play with a positive mentality. We have a wide attacking width. We pass into space and play out from our defense. We work the ball into the box with mixed crosses. We have a shorter passing directness with higher tempo and we dribble less. In transition, we counter press and counter. We distribute quickly to our center backs. When we are out of possession, we have a higher line of engagement and a higher defensive line. We have more urgent pressing intensity and prevent short goalkeeper distribution. And then the set pieces for corners and free kicks and all that are the elite corner set pieces and elite set piece tactics that will be attached to this tactic. And I'll also be putting in the Discord if you guys would like to download them. But now let's see how they did in competitions, team overview, and player overview. So, Benfica, with this tactic, won the league with 85 points, 54 goal differential, losing three games, one to Braga, one to Porto, and then another to Braga. So, Braga had their number, unfortunately, but we were runners-up in the Portuguese Cup, and we won the Portuguese League Cup. So, two cup finals. Definitely take that, and we added another trophy onto the league. We did get knocked out in the group stage, which was unfortunate, but we were able to beat the likes of Real Madrid. Uh, we did not have an easy group, but, yeah, they did solid. Definitely did solid, but it allowed them to absolutely dominate Liga Nos, which is great. Now, getting into the team overview, scored the most goals in the league with 80 goals in the league. Most shots for, we were in second with 562. Fewest shots against with 182. That is the lowest I think I've ever had in a test. It, that's absolutely absurd. Best pass completion at 90%, finishing in second. Most possession, 59%. So, good goal scoring tactic, good defensive tactic, very high possession tactic. This is absolutely phenomenal so far. Most tackles won, we were not in. Most triples made, however, we were. We were in fourth with 94. Most shutouts, we were in third with 15. Fewest conceded in third with 26. So, I mean, overall, absolutely phenomenal so far. Most goals in the league, Darwin Nunez with 21 goals and Pizzi finishing in third with 18. Most assists, we got the top two, Joao Mario with 15, Alex Grimaldo with 13. And Alex Grimaldo as a winger is absolutely bonkers. He is very, very good. Most shots, Darwin Nunez with 
107. Most player of the matches, we got Joao Mario tied in fifth with five. Most key passes, Joao Mario once again with in fourth with 101. Same with Alex Grimaldo. They both had 101 key passes, which is great. Then we've got pass completion, Morato, Lucas Verissimo, and Nicholas Otamendi all in there with 97%, which is insane. Most tackles won, however, we were not in. Most triples made, we were. And Rafa came in fifth with 24. Most shutouts, we got Odysseus, Vlachidimos, and fourth with 13. And then he was in fourth once again with 23 goals conceded. So, I mean, overall, they did absolutely phenomenal getting the two cup finals, winning one, winning the league, beating the likes of Real Madrid. Um, not, I mean, not coming out of the group stage definitely hurts, but overall played very, very well. Really, really like what we got from the squad with this tactic. Now, Darwin Nunez had 29 goals on the season. Pizzi with 26. Adele Tarot with 10. Rafa with 9. Jan Vertonghen with 9. He is one of those main targets on the corner set pieces. Same with Lucas Verissimo. Everton with 6. Swalio, I think. Maite with 3. Valentino Lazaro with 3. Julian Weigel, Diego Goncalves, and Morato all with 2. Then you've got Kinkalo Ramos, Faro, Seferovic, Grimaldo, Dual Mario, and Gabriel all with one. Now, assist-wise, Dual Mario with 22. He would play as the deep line playmaker and shadow striker. So both of those roles, big, big, big time contributors to the success of this tactic. Alex Grimaldo with 14, Lazaro with 8. Julian Vigo played that central midfielder on defend role and had seven assists. So, absolutely love that. Diago Goncalves with seven. Rafa with seven. Darwin Nunez with six. Same with Adel Tarat. Pizzi with five. Everton with four. You got Maite and Gabriel both with three. Fernandez and Otamendi both with one. And then, I believe, yeah, Otamendi had an assist but not a goal. So, kind of odd. But... Average rating-wise, basically everyone at a 7.0 rating or above. Uh, some players were not at that level, but just underneath, like Diego Goncalves at a 6.95, Everton at a 6.91, same with Faro. I mean, everyone contributed and did a very solid job, especially, I mean, from Valentin Lazaro on up. Absolutely phenomenal performances uh, I mean, XG-wise, even, I mean, Darwin Nunez with 22.72, and he had 29. And then Pizzi with 19.83, he had 26. Uh, the one that was actually very accurate was Adil Tarat. He had 10, it was a 10.15. So very, very impressive, very, very solid tactic, very solid season from Benfica. Uh, looking at the schedule real quick, um, I had actually looked over this before, and they really were just a team on a mission once they were out of the Champions League. They were in it with Real Madrid, uh, Dortmund, and Galatasaray. Uh, I believe Galatasaray and us did not go through, but uh, Dortmund and Madrid did. We drew Dortmund 2-2, beat Galatasaray 2-0, beat Madrid 2-0. Then we lost to Madrid 1-0, lost to Galatasaray 1-0, lost to Borussia Dortmund 5-3. And then once we were out, we were a team on a mission. I mean, we beat Boa Vista 6-1. Uh, we beat Aruca 6-0. We beat who, – who else is a pretty big – I mean, Porto 4-2. Would not expect that, honestly. Uh, but, yeah, we played very, very solid. Very happy with it. Uh uh, Aruka 5 0 again. So we, we had their number for sure. But I mean, the, this tactic in this team, very, very solid. But now let's check out how it performs in game.
right, so there we go. That is this tactic wrapped up. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm definitely going to give this tactic a go come FM22. This looks absolutely nuts. Uh, this was done on the FM22 database as well, so definitely keep that in mind. Definitely try it out in FM22 as well as FM21 here at the end of the life cycle of the game. But with all that being said, if you guys did happen to enjoy it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, have a good one.